Hello, everyone. This is Venus Brown, back with another episode of Sex Education. This is Season 2, Episode 2. Now, last episode, it looks like everybody's starting at a new school. A lot of them are going to the same school, which seems very open and affirming and not at all suited to Ruby, but she is there for some reason. I did not understand why she chose to enroll in that school. She looked very uncomfortable and didn't look like she fit at all. And then you also had the situation with Otis and the previous therapist who are now competing with each other for sex therapy time and space. And Otis's mom is trying to raise a new baby, get a new job, and she looks very overwhelmed. And Otis is like, she is not ready for this. I don't know what she's thinking. But she went into the interview, had the child with her, but not in the actual interview till the end. The person she pawned her child off on was not able to continue taking care of the child. Anyway, it was silly. She did get the job, though. So even though I would have said that was a very bad interview, she still got the job. I don't know how she's going to deal with that since she does not have child care yet. Hopefully she can find something quick, but the idea of leaving your baby with somebody that you don't know well and you haven't really had time to vet properly, that doesn't sound promising to me at all. Do either of you have anything to say? Well, I can explain last episode. I felt like the fact that the school only has gender neutral bathrooms is a bad idea. There are definitely some people that feel uncomfortable with that kind of situation. Right. The bathroom situation can be complicating. I mean, it, just like the locker rooms. So I had a big problem when I was in school with dressing and undressing in the locker room. It was super uncomfortable. For trans people and cis people, that can be uncomfortable in the bathroom too. So like my kid was saying, the idea that they would only have gender neutral bathrooms could be problematic also. It's nice that they have them, but it might be a good idea to have multiple options available. Not so that people can be transphobic assholes, but so that people can make their choice and go to where they feel safe and comfortable going. All right, so let's start season two, episode two, sex education. (laughs) Yep, that's gonna get really old real fast. You look like yeah. I'm just called you call my sister. <laughs> we need help. <laughs> Excuse me? I'm just thinking about going to the gym. It's like it's good for your brain. It was <laughs> the real reason. Jealousy. Maybe made friends with Rip. Very <laughs> Oh my god, he is hot! <laughs> so are you. <laughs> so are you. In a quiet and soft, intelligent way. In a quiet, soft, and intelligent way. his body is insane. (laughs) (laughs) We talk. Not today, Abby. Are you okay? Yeah. It's an ally? (laughs) (laughs) Gotta pass out the ally badges. Why do you keep blanking me? I thought we were cool. Ow. Stop to save my call. I'm not wearing any. Lucky you. Hurt in the grass. Got any rooms? That mint water. Adorable. Yeah. <laughs> you do right. Absolutely. <laughs> he has absolutely no idea what he's doing or what she just said. At least I highly doubt it. Abby and Lemon fighting. Okay. Fix their relationship, everyone ditches O and comes to you instead. What's in it for you? Put in a good word for me. I, I don't want to play game. If I just be myself, people will eventually realize I am the best therapist. Good luck with that, Otis. <laughs> Has anyone ever put their finger up the bone before? Oh, shit, sorry, sorry. At way up 
out there. No warning. Like a ninja. Like a ninja. Being totally freaked out. Did this act feel bad for you? No, it felt great. Confused. Because I really didn't think I was queer. <laughs> Heterosexual men who also like having their prostate stimulated. Looking for the presence of a happy yes rather than the absence of an unhappy no. Shame about the whole college seeing your weird pubes. You're good at this. <laughs> I want to hear your voice. Abby and Roman never fight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... So call in and 080 815701221 So our church did baptisms as babies and then they do affirmations when you reach the age of reason or you decide whereas some other churches do baptism when you reach the age of reason and they do other things when you're babies it's like they just reverse them sort of I just don't feel fully accepted here. In what sense? I have to hide parts of myself. Other people don't need to know. But it's who I am. People can be a bit funny about the whole God thing. But I still believe in God. I'm trying to get Romans to come with me to a more accepting church, but... Finding it tough too. You can talk to me about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Abby. Make a career just because you like something. You can have to earn money. Yeah, and you can make money doing a job, doing something you love. I'm actually not hungry. <laughs> Off to a great start, Dad. <laughs> what did I do? Maybe he doesn't see anything through because he's so afraid of disappointing you that he doesn't even try. I could um, give you a driving lesson. Okay. Let him deal with the present and I'll, then he can worry about the future about the after he figures out the present a little bit better. Disastrous. I was distracted. What were you thinking? I was thinking you needed some help. Hey. Tyrone seems to be around a lot. You speak about him a lot. Did you call me to check up on Tyrone? Seeing him online. <laughs> He's gay. He has a boyfriend back home in Illinois. <laughs> Can we just pretend I didn't? No. You pissed me off. No, he pissed me no. off. <laughs> Ask each other stuff. Like dirty talk. Like, can I take your top off? Can I put my finger up your palm? Absolutely. I want this to be casual. Yeah. I'm not doing relationships. It's probably nothing, but I felt something. I think you might have a lump. We get it checked out. Well, at least she told you. Only good you started expanding your communication. I mean, you accused me of cheating. He's having too much fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> For Abby and Roman. Oh, of course. They have to stay together. Your patchy pubes, guy. Uh, yeah. Patchy I had a fight pubes, with guy. I feel so betrayed. Abby, are you wanking? You use the word betrayed. It feels like she was cheating. And self pleasure can be beneficial. <laughs> she doesn't really have sex anymore. Doesn't like to talk about negative things. She wouldn't tell me. She says she has a low sex drive. The sex drive's a complicated thing. Abby's family kicked her out. She pretends she's okay, but I don't think she is. Sometimes couples need to take the pressure off. Hugging, kissing, do love hugging Abby. <laughs> Having a session with you and me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, is this really happening or is he imagining it? Okay, these guys are here for school, so if they're doing all these therapy sessions, how do they actually have time for classes? Huh? It's like so hot. Okay. It used to be my melon. Took him everywhere with me. I don't think I understand this art stuff. No, he wasn't a teddy bear, but he went all moldy and shrunk and he smelled so bad. <laughs> it was my first experience of death. Amy, that's really weird. <laughs> Lovely. So what that heavily like my fish that they just carried around in their pocket? Yeah. Well, then you don't have to draw. There's loads to show you this weekend. Great job! The colour's very vivid! It's microphone, and yet she's still sharp. I'm Cal, by the way. Aisha, nice to meet you. Why are you here? You need my help. I need somewhere to stay. If you're going to be here, then here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is normal for some guys, right? Hopefully. If it's a new lump, or well, you're just worried about it, we go and see a doctor. The issue with the lump. That's got to be frightening. I mean, at least a little bit. I know there was a point where I had a lump on my breast and 
I definitely was freaking out a little bit, even though I tried not to show it. That was scary. It turned out not to be anything serious, but the idea that it might be is pretty frightening. And I don't know anything about lumps in that area, so I don't know if it's something to be cautious about. But just like he said, if it's something you haven't noticed before, the main thing that I was told also, I mean, what I noticed was definitely different, but it turned out to be not serious. But if you're noticing things that are changing, especially when it comes to lumps, probably a good idea to say something to your doctor. Maybe we should team up. Student-led campus. Why don't we let them decide? Are you being serious? Yeah, especially the issue she was already having with being overbooked. Split it up. People are going to probably develop preferences for one or the other. Not always going to be the same preferences. <laughs> you don't throw this off. Are you afraid of horses? Their faces are a completely normal sight. Their faces are a completely normal sight. Maybe I'm a little bit scared of them. Please don't find me. I'm really good with dogs and... I'm really good with dogs. I really want this apprenticeship. For fuck's sake. <laughs> you do drive, though. Ah. <sighs> Can't get distracted. Viv. <laughs> and he clearly likes you back, which doesn't happen off to him. And now. He's too steady, steady with you. Told you that I didn't want you messing around in Abby and Roman's relationship. Found a way of helping them out without getting you involved. I thought that'd be okay. See you at the gym. Gym's not for me. <laughs> I could be your campaign manager. Maeve, now, so I don't know if... I am not trying to get back with you. Arrogant, sometimes. <laughs> you should give it to Malloy. He's going to be all over it. Tell me what you think. You weren't so self-conscious when you were starting out. It was all heart. All heart. An interesting observation. Do you want me to read that? I'm sorry. The distance is hard. I think I've got a chance of getting it. That's a big deal. You said yeah. you were definitely coming back. I might have changed my mind. But someone's supposed to be emotionally intelligent. Well, sometimes so too. <laughs> but maybe we should take some space. Good idea. Seriously. Come and see me for a sexual breakthrough. So blow blow for Calvin Day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, that was season four, episode two of Sex Education. So Otis was definitely getting a little jealous of Maeve's friend who turned out to be gay. And then it looked like things were going to go all right, but yeah, Otis doesn't do very well with his jealousy, apparently, so that did not go well. And it was interesting, the power couple on the campus who started having problems because of a feeling of betrayal because she said she wasn't in the mood and then was pleasuring herself later on. So it was interesting. I wouldn't look at it as betrayal, but I can see how some people might. I have definitely heard of that sentiment before. And then the issue with the baptism at the church, that like, it's such a hard thing. There are open and affirming churches, but there are also churches like that. They basically expect you to keep your mouth shut and say that it's between you and God. It's a private thing or whatever. If you were to come out open like that, then they're not so freaking accepting. In the church I used to be a member of, we had an issue. Ours was our denomination decided that they would start allowing the congregation to decide one way or another to accept open and affirming relationships, whether to allow homosexuals in leadership positions in the church, which I thought was a very good direction, at least allow the congregations the opportunity to choose. And our pastor was completely against it. And he completely drove a wedge right down the middle of our church. So half of us left. It was very awful. After that, I decided to go look for another church that was more welcoming, and we found an open, affirming church that we really liked. So at least there was that. And I don't even go to that church anymore because I really don't believe in that stuff anymore. At least it was a place where we felt like it was welcoming and accepting, whereas before it was like, oh, we'll allow you to be here, but we want you to hide it. And that's just not good enough. It's not something that should be expected of anybody. Anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.